Welcome back guys. So in this lecture right here, I want to give a, a short introduction into Redux because I decided to implement this, uh, this feature uh, which is going to allow us to manage our state a lot easier. Um, some of you guys have are probably already familiar with Redux and some of you are, are not. Well, I just want to say that for those of you who have not worked with Redux and Redux can be somewhat complicated, especially in the beginning. Um, it is hard to under, uh, it, it is uh, a little difficult to understand, uh, at least for me, I'm speaking from my own personal experience. Um, but I will, I will guarantee you that if you continue on with it, that eventually it will start to make sense. All right. It's just, you just have to see and understand and put, and see the patterns and on uh, the workflow of how Redux is applied. And believe me, it's going to, you're going to connect the dots and it's going to make sense. Um, but don't get frustrated if you don't understand initially. Okay. So again, I'm going to be using Redux. And the reason why I decided to do this is because again, um, especially with this application, it is getting larger and it's going to be a lot easier to manage state. So Redux, um, here I have a diagram of it, um, essentially the workflow of how Redux works. But you can think of Redux as uh, a store, um, having a top level store that, uh, or a cloud, I like to think of it like a cloud that hovers over your whole application. And that store contains um, properties, uh, uh, properties uh, for all your components that you're gonna be able to pull directly from this cloud. Um, it, so, Without this Redux, you know, sometimes we're having to do um, pass props from one component over to the next component, like their children components. And, and I guess there's this term called prop drilling, and we can avoid that. But instead with Redux, it just makes it so much easier. So whatever component that we need a, a specific property for, uh, we 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 pull it into the component really easily, and you'll see later. And we just pull it out directly from the store, so there's no need to 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 pass uh, props from one component to another. All that mess, we can avoid it all together. Okay, so it just makes life a lot easier for us. Okay, so there are two main uh, features or concepts in Redux, and that is uh, actions and reducers. So here initially, like if you can imagine, so this is a component here that's shown in this diagram here. What we're, we're gonna be doing is dispatching um, some actions, okay, action functions. And we're gonna be able to make these actions um, into functions by using a middleware also. Um, but um, like, uh, what was it called? I uh, can't recall the name, but we will be importing a specific function that will turn uh, middleware that will allow us to turn these functions into uh, um, allow us to turn these actions into functions and call them the functions directly within our component. So these comp these functions, which are actions, will be dispatched within our component, and these actions will, um, uh, for the most case, uh, well, a lot of them will be. Um, will be functions that will uh, make API calls to the back end and uh, but not necessarily all of them but a lot of them will uh, involve having the API uh, logic within it and um, these actions will fire off or return an object that will be returned as you see here returns an object for the reducer to handle so those actions will uh, return an object to the reducer and the reducer here um, will will um, have some some state properties um, and they will change according to the action okay and so once those the the, the reducer the the state is changed within our reducer that reducer will return uh, update the state inside the store and the store will return it back uh, return the changed data or props to the component okay um, again this is uh, don't worry if it's complicated but again it, 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 
there's gonna be there's gonna be a certain workflow and you're gonna see patterns and the more you 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 go through it it will start to make sense okay so that's a short introduction to redux and um, I'll be making use of that in the next following videos thank you